All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 16th of September. We've got some great events going on this week, of course. Our Piedmont tasting. Um, this is a Piedmont offering. How appropriate to have an offering on one of the greatest producers of the Piedmont the night before our Piedmont tasting at Cafe Max. Then our pairings event on Thursday, which is more like a, just a big party. We're having at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. 2,000 people will be there. And then Friday night, we got our vintage Bordeaux tasting, part of our once-in-a-lifetime series of tastings. Here at the store, we may have one or two seats for left for that, but hey, we don't do that to make money. We just do that to taste the world's greatest wines, legendary old vintages going back to 1959 here at the store. Should be absolutely fantastic, just like the wines of Giuseppe Rinaldi, one of the most sought-after producers' wines in all the Piedmont, and uh, very hard to find in this country because, you know, most of his wines are sold direct to his long-standing mailing list members, direct at the winery, that is. And uh, we have been lucky enough to be able to get a serious stash of some older vintages from uh, Beppe, they call him Rinaldi. And uh, this is a producer that it makes, uh, well, the way he made wine it hasn't really changed over the last 30 years. All open top fermenters punched down on a daily basis and uh, everything done by hand, just incredibly painstaking. And uh, the result in the bottle is one of the greatest Barolos that you will find. And the nomenclature has changed on the label, a label a little bit. And uh, Rinaldi's top Cuvée through 1992 was called Barolo Bernate Reserva, and the best gin of vintages in the last 30 years carried that. And then they changed the wine to Bernate Lacoste, which was a blend of 80% uh, Bernate and 20% Lacoste. And uh, recently they have changed the laws in the Piedmont, so you cannot have two different vineyard names on there. So the Bernate that we have from 2010, the latest release, a legendary vintage, uh, is now 85% um, Bernate and 15% Lacoste. That's the most you can put from another crew and still have a, crew, a different crew's name on the label. So in 2010, he has come out with a completely new wine to confuse his serious fans, the Tretine, which is actually a blend of three different areas. It's 50% uh, Rivera, 30% Canubi Lorenzo, and 20% uh, uh, Lecoste. So um, he's taking more of his Bernate fruit and using it just in the Bernate, and maybe a little more, adding a little Lecoste fruit to this other fruit, and uh, created a completely new wine here. So for those followers of Rinaldi, that is what's happened. That is what this new Tretini wine is all about. And in addition to this 2010 which uh, both of these wines appear to be killer. Galoni range from 94 to 97 points, which uh, 2010, we've been trying to get our hands on everything we can. All of the producers we've talked to have said one of the greatest vintages in the last 20 years. So we've got an incredible collection of Bernate Lacoste wine. We've got some Canubi San Lorenzo wine from 05. We got 04. We've got vintages of Lacoste Bernate going back to 1994. And, and when you look at the prices on these wines, these were all brought in by their U.S. imports, stored in perfect condition in their warehouse in Ronkonkoma. And uh, of some of these just slightly more than the price of the new release. And to get one of the world's great wines, a wine that will last for 50 years in your cellar, still at around $200, $250, to me is incredible value, especially when you look at the limited nature of the production of these wines. A tiny production, incredibly hard to find. Well, you have them here at the Wine Watch. While supplies last most of these older vintage wines, we only have one case of, and some of the newer vintage wines in 2010, so we just got a couple of cases of of each of these so if you want to own one of the greatest producers wines from the Piedmont from one of the greatest vintage vintages in recent history and some great older stuff check out this offering on our good friend Giuseppe Rinaldi's wines I'm your host Andrew Lampassoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first